My name is Daniel. I'm from Sydney, Australia. สวัสดีเจ้ายินดีต้อนรับสู่เชียงใหม่นะเจ้า Welcome to Chiang Mai. My name is Marvin Krauss, uh, and I am originally from Melbourne, Australia. My name is Prey. Um, I was born in Chiang Mai. Have a little hotel uh, down by the river, named Villa San Pisa. Yeah, and that's me. Yeah, yeah. I've been here for 17 years, long enough to have uh, a wife and three kids. And I've been living in Chiang Mai for two and a half years. I love the the closeness to nature that it has. Uh, a lot about this city is uh, very green. There's a lot of mountains nearby. Uh, you can go out from the city like 15 minutes, 10 minutes, and it's just like you're enter into a whole different world. The majority of things in Chiang Mai, I love it. You know, the people first, of course, people like you. So there's just so many things to love about Chiang Mai: uh, the cultural experience, the live music, the nightlife. Nature and people, that will be my two favorite things here. Uh, I've been long enough here, long enough to enjoy all of that, and I, I've come to make it my home. You know, I love it. Here. Cow soy, definitely the cow soy. And they put the crispy uh, fried noodles in it. You know. Uh, and uh, either you can get it beef, chicken, mix, whatever you want. I get to control how much spice I put in it, so no. <laughs> Not for me, but some people like it very spicy. Hoi Tung Tao will probably be like the one that I like the most. I just drive there five, ten minutes and I can just relax looking at the sky, the mountains, and sometimes they have the rice paddy and it's cool. Doi Pui, the top of, uh, top of the mountain there. It's brilliant. Sometimes the fog rolls in, um, which just makes everything even more magical. Coffee in Chiang Mai is a culture in, within itself, uh, and that's changed in the last couple of years. You know, market hopping—that's for sure, or joy art class, uh, Muay Thai and boxing training, uh, also hiking. There's some really great hikes here in Chiang Mai. A lot of mountains around. Uh, there's waterfalls that are running around that old wall. That's you know. Uh, been there for 500 plus years. On Facebook, personal life will be the Chiang Mai Normat group. And sometimes you can just post like, yeah, I want to hang out for a day and like who will be interested. And a lot of people showed up. Um, since I've been in Chiang Mai, I've gotten sober. And there's a really good sober community here in Chiang Mai. So I got here well, just before the COVID lockdowns happened. And so it's only been in the last few months where um, everything started to open up again. I feel like the city actually reset itself back through times. What I love about Chiang Mai is it didn't last long. Um, yeah, okay, people went around walking with the masks, whatever, but people were walking around, you know. It's more to say than other countries where you were locked away. And the nature, it reset itself. Like if you go, it's very, it's not crowded. Pai is definitely a good one. Um, it's about three hours uh, on a motorbike or scooter. Uh, I think it's called Bong Kwao Hot Springs, um, which is way up in the mountain. Mm, I've really changed my life since I've been here. I'm fit, I'm healthy, I'm happy for the first time ever. Laid back people, a very small, big city. You can go like from the north to the south, the east to the west, and you can find some interesting. You will find something for everyone. That's what I love about Chiang Mai. 